Okay, this is uh, September 6th, summer's over, and this is uh, the meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. First item on the agenda, minutes for the August 7th meeting. Has everybody reviewed those minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any changes or, or additions, Bob? Still look good. Okay. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes for uh, the uh, August 7th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next is uh, minutes for the August 21st meeting. Has everybody reviewed those yep. minutes? Fine. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to accept those minutes? Second. So move. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, next item on the agenda, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant, $54,019, a payroll warrant for $89,348, and a payroll deduction warrant of $24,034. I'll make a motion that we accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. So the only meeting I went to, and we were there, who else was there? Um, Roy Cohen had a meeting on the new Conway website. So. Oh, great. So that was okay. interesting. Okay. Showed us all an experimental, sort of fairly stark yet, but what it'll look like. Yeah, we, we've needed to update the website for a while now, yeah. so that's, that's good. Robert, do you no, have any? Right. Okay, and I don't have any either. So, very light period. Citizens' concerns? I don't see any citizens. I guess we don't have any citizens' concerns. Old business report on the long term financial plan, our town administrator. Uh, yet again, I don't have the absolute final printable version in hand. It has been completed. It is going to be sent to the uh, state, so we'll be able to cross that off the community compact right. checklist. Okay. Um, and I, I would like uh, some time to go over with you when it is complete, but uh, okay. I don't have a, a printable version of that yet. Okay. Next item is report on the ADA self-evaluation and transition plan. Uh, similarly, we're still waiting for the executive summary now. We do know, um, based on what they, they have sent, that, uh, that they're proposing all kinds of little things and some big things. Uh, some of their priorities will include relocating offices, I think, especially the police department, to make that more accessible. Um, they uh, they do take into account, uh, for instance, that this is a uh, an old structure and not really capable of being uh, modified sufficiently um, mm -hmm. to meet modern standards. But that what that means is that they will recommend some relocation. Mm -hmm. okay. um, their uh, their total for what can be done here in the town office is just under ten thousand um, dollars. If you take out the uh, the lift over there, um, it's uh, about uh, $14,000 for the, the town hall. And um, Conway Grammar School also has about $16,000 worth of work. Now that would go on their capital in, in, improvement plan. In ADA work? Yeah, yeah it, it was built just, uh, it was built under the 1991 mm. ADA and um, since then mm. the regs have been updated. Okay. Uh, that should be part of their, their capital planning. I did give copies of that to uh, Elaine Campbell okay. as a chair of the, the school committee. Um, they did estimate just the cost of a lift, but not the design or construction of the shaft, uh, which would add considerable costs to something at, at Town Hall. They said the lift itself would be about $80,000. Now, probably, yeah, which is much less than an elevator. Um, elevator yeah, would yeah. be would be hundreds yeah. of thousands of dollars. Um, and what's this uh, lift? Uh, it, it's a simple, yes. Yeah, simple it, it's lift. um, it, the, it it's like a like an 
on it's enclosed a, elevator. It, it's it's a one one story lift, mm -hmm. and and yeah, it would still be in a shaft. It would still be, um, but it would be slower, and uh, it, it would only be one story, and it would not require any excavation. Um, there are elevators that 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 work with with really minimal um, uh, space underneath them, but they're, in my experience, uh, not entirely reliable. They need to be recalibrated about every nine months, and that's, that Probably. adds a lot of money. Uh, so lift, uh, the Leverett Town Hall has a lift, and it's slow and small, but it does the job, and it makes it compliant and all of that. So. Um, that's what they were suggesting, and they said that's eighty thousand. But that did not include the design or engineering of the shaft or construction, yeah. rather. So, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about a possibility for for that um, as I, uh, as I get my as we talk about the uh, special town meeting. Okay. Now, who was involved with you in in looking at these? The ADA. Uh, so Tom McCarthy was involved, mm -hmm. and uh, Rusty Blossom, right. and Ron Sweet. Right, okay. Good. Good. All, right. All right, next item on the agenda is uh, <clears throat> Council on Aging to appoint Carolyn Thayer. Um, the Council on Aging has recommended Carolyn. Yes, they sent a letter asking that the select board uh, appoint her. Okay. Um, Anybody have any questions on, on Carolyn's appointment? No? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll make a motion that we, um, we accept the recommendation of the Council on Aging and appoint Carolyn Thayer um, to the Council on Aging for term ending in June, uh, June 30th next year, 2018. I think that is supposed to be 2020. It is supposed to uh, be 2020. It should be 2020? Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll... Uh, I have to fix that. All right, 2020. Sorry about that. All right. Three adjourned? Yes, standing committee, so three years. Okay. Do we need to second that, or do we need to vote on that? Yeah, or? second. We got to have a second. Aye, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, up and coming Eversource right of way work, regular clearing plus clearing of right of way edge. Yes, I sent along uh, with the email agenda a um, PowerPoint presentation that mm -hmm. they had come up with. And um, it's all uh, not extraordinary until you get to one particular slide and what they are proposing is to clear uh, entirely to the edge of their right-of-way. Uh, this, uh, what's cleared now is about a third of their right-of-way. So they're really talking about tripling the size of land that's Clearing. cleared of trees. This will be a major change in the landscape. Is this all their lines, or just their high, high performance lines? Uh, I don't know. Lines. It is certainly the line that's going through North Conway here. Yeah. For Conway, it'll start about the Shelburne yeah. Falls Road and go to the so Sportsman's so Club. That's high tension. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. But it, it didn't go the whole way, which kind of puzzled me. It didn't go, it looked like it didn't go too far past the Sportsman's Club. Well, they, and, and they will be contacting all the landowners who are affected. Mm -hmm. um, it will be um, it will be a lot of trees that they're taking down. They will offer the trees to the landowners, uh, and then offer to um, dispose of them otherwise if the landowner prefers that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that that's it's going to be quite a change. Yeah, we may be. Did they give any reason why that. they wanted to go the full width of the uh, right of way? Um, they say they are. Um, Adopting FERC recommendations for the uh, the clearance. Um, they did say uh, increased storm severity was part of it. I've I've also heard uh, that uh, the increased voltage that they're putting in That's might right. be part of it as well. 
yeah. raising the voltage sure. way up. Sure. Mm. Which yeah. means you must, the tree's got to be at a lot further distance away from it. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if a tree does fall, it it we, needs to fall even further away. Why before you guys yeah. wrote, Bill, Bob may have been in town, but we had an incident over there near the Sportsman's Club years ago where some young guys thought they were cutting the tree down on the edge of the right away. And it literally, why they didn't get killed is beyond me, the three of them. It really jumped from the line to the fallen tree. Whoa. Big, huge explosion. Kids got knocked on the ground and everything else, but never killed anyone. Oh. Which was a shocker. Yeah. So you speak. The guy who showed up in the light company said, I usually show up with body bags when I get a call for this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. One of them now is a, a fairly prominent citizen in town. He's you know, he's grown up and uh, his brother was another one and another kid and uh, they're just lucky to be alive. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, next item is our special town meeting for Monday, October the 30th. Uh, we have six items in our um, draft warrant. Uh, any, question, any questions on any of those? Any comments that you have, Tom? Uh, yeah, on number one, you'll see there are some uh, uh, relatively minor technical changes to what was going on uh, before with the planning boards. This is the uh, moratorium, moratorium on commercial marijuana operations. Mm -hmm. Uh, they did some tweaking of that, not much, nothing related to policy, just uh, just some technical items. Okay. Um, for, for number two, the uh, reducing number of finance committee members to five, uh, there are no changes proposed to that. I will note that there is a relatively new resident interested in the finance committee. Uh, but I think that having the number be odd to remove the possibility of tie votes and lower to lower the quorum requirement is still a good idea. Yeah. A absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And he may get his chance, uh, you know, at some future time. Okay. And it's good to have a little bit of a bench, you know. Sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, Jim Fitzsimmon, a uh, nice guy, came in and visited. I, I gave him a long introduction to town government because he, uh, he was unfamiliar with the uh, local government here mm -hmm. and he does look as though he uh, would like to get involved in some level so I thought it right. was worth uh, he just moved to an extended introduction I think last spring okay yeah uh, it'd be nice if we met these people well yeah most of us don't know who they are yeah right uh, I, I, I'm sure I'm sure you'll be seeing him he looked he looked uh, very interested in becoming uh, involved and it looks as though he would be a, a great addition to uh, to town volunteers yeah. um, no changes to uh, oh uh, for the number of conservation commission members town council would prefer to see a set number of conservation commission right. members rather than a range. Yep. Okay. Um, so I propose sticking with the original change requested down That's to three right. members from five. Good it's, idea. It, it's simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no changes to establishing a revolving account for Medicaid reimbursements. Okay. Um, no changes to paying a bill from a prior fiscal year. Um, this could come under emergency funding for 2017, but we have to put that on the tax rate, and it's still not clear to me whether we actually owe this bill or not. This is the water from after the tornado. The first invoices we got seemed to indicate that it was for a delivery on March 15th. Uh, I was assured by the school custodian that he had refused that shipment because mm -hmm. he didn't have any place to put it, and we didn't need it at yeah. that point. Yeah. Um, subsequently, I got an email recently saying, no, no, that bill was for the February um, delivery. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, if you can show me, I, it's been represented to me that it was for, the, for a March delivery that didn't happen. If you can resend an invoice that shows that it was for the February delivery, I'll be happy to pay it. Okay. 
Uh, but it is a bill at this point from a prior year. So having town meeting at least authorize the payment sure. would be good. Uh, one detail is the town is prohibited from paying finance charges. So the company's going to have to uh, yeah. deal yeah. with that. that that's, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Um, we did get a communication from Nelson, Nelson Shiflett regarding a possible petition, what he was in here and, and spoke with the board about before which was not having the local police deputized as ICE agents. I wonder if that's exactly how he's going to put it, but that's uh, what that's about. Okay, now that's that's number seven on the warrant. Number yes, six, I had done... Number six. I had just... Well, there is a new version, and you should have... Mm -hmm. Number six? Oh, that's the one you printed out. Well, if you look in your packet, there is a, oh. uh, there should be a slightly newer version of the warrant. If you can get that... Um, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we did. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got two different versions. Okay. We do. Yeah. I got. I got two different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Um, Six. I am. I would like to propose authorizing. Uh, I got the other one. A transfer. It came in the in this. Um, yeah. Yeah. It should be the one you have in your. There might be another one in your packet. It only goes there at a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's this one. Yeah, it's it is this is one. Seven. Yeah, I would like. What should you go to? The seven one? No. Yes. Yeah, six. S seven six. is good. Oh, seven is good. Yeah. Seven is good. So yeah. Sorry okay. about that. I seven just, I, I just put that in to propose it, um, because once we complete the ADA self evaluation and transition plan. Um, you know, we can we can uh, we can make some improvements. They've laid them out and given us a ballpark cost. Um, the uh, the thing is, is that there is another grant that's due in uh, the application is due in November. Um, so it would be a bit of a tight turnaround for this, but um, it is an implementation grant. So I thought that we might start with something that would allow us to make the changes recommended in the transition plan, mm -hmm. at least some of them. And what I was thinking was, um, if we authorize 6000 from free cash as 40% um, of the project, then we could ask for $9,000 in implementation money. That would be $15,000 in project costs, which would be uh, something like all of the changes they wanted to the town office and say half of the changes they wanted to, or not quite half the changes they wanted to make over the town hall. The downstairs bathroom being one of the more, more important ones, I think. Right, right, okay. Um, now, okay. If, you, if you add up, um, you know, the total of, 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 what, of what they say, it's, it's 24,000. Um, so uh, a 4% match would be more like 10,000. From free cash, I was a little, um, a little leery of suggesting that much from free cash. And for, what do we have in free cash? Um, somewhere about one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. We won't actually know that. Right. Uh, we, we won't know that until later in September or mm -hmm. or even into October. Yeah. Um, and it's unclear. If we don't know it by town meeting, whether we can authorize it, well, should we be authorizing it spending it's free cash? We don't know what the figure is. Mm. That's yeah, my no, question. No, we, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. Well, but, no, but we, but may, we will know by then. We may yeah. know by then. Yeah, it, it, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tight squeeze all the way around. But there is the grant that we could apply for. Sure. Um, if we had the money now, we could always apply for it and ask for um, uh, for money later, either from the reserve fund or from free cash later. Mm -hmm. um, see if we get the grant. Right. See if uh, we get the grant first. Yeah, um, it would it would not be great to get the grant and then not supply the matching funds. Yeah. So um, 
it's it's not great either way around, and, and the timing is difficult. But I thought I would put it out there for. Uh, oops, I didn't even finish the my sentence. Um, uh, I thought that starting with something small would be better anyway. We could do a certain amount of work, mm -hmm. and then uh, <coughs> this is this is supposed to be. These are supposed to be two grants that are going to be ongoing. Okay. Um, so the we could continue next year to ask for the lift. This is a grant that you can ask for up to two hundred thousand dollars. Okay. For, right. So this is this is a really major thing. Uh, matching is forty percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we if we started small and got something, that would establish a track record for us, mm -hmm. and then it would be easier for us to get in the, the next one. I, I'm still not sure about it, but I thought I'd put it on just as a topic okay. for discussion. I'll try to find out more about when our free cash is likely to be certified. Mm -hmm. Last year it was certified by what would have been October 2nd. Sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And the 40% of the 24,000 would be closer to 10,000. If we went for all of the changes that they're proposing in, in this, um, I'd like to see us have a little bit of flexibility in that too and not have to spend all of it if some of it were actually more difficult to do. This is a seat of the pants estimate that they gave us here. Mm -hmm. This isn't a quote, so we have to be a little bit careful in that regard too. All right, so we're 40, we're, this, this gives us 40% of the 15,000. Yeah. That, that's fine. Right. And we'll, we'll so be I'll, flexible. I'll, yeah, and I'll, I'll find out as to whether or not we'll actually be able is, to is there a way to state this to say, you know, uh, if, as long as the uh, free cash has sufficient it, it, or it is, is certified? Uh, is, I, yeah. I don't think so. Um, I can check on that. So too. at the special uh, meeting, we would just have to table this, or yeah, if we, okay. right. which would not be, you know, wouldn't be the end of the world. Even in place, and we have to table it. At, at, you know. We, but, it'd be, but it, to mm -hmm. me, it'd be better if we can We're state prepared. it in a way that if the free cash isn't certified, but it's certified soon after, that we could still vote it. I, mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't think no, that's that. legal. No, I, think uh, I can't do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I would expect that we'll have certification of free cash before before this meeting. It's um, It all depends on the state. You know, it's something we don't have direct control over, so... Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to promise anything, but anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there. It gives us a, another chance to get another little, another little bit. We're not asking for everything that they recommended, but we could do that next year, especially if we showed we did a good job with, with a smaller grant. Good. Okay. Uh, next item, uh, we've got uh, school facilities study. So we, but we didn't mention Nelson, so I assume no. that Nelson's did, is going to wait on. Did we mention? I, 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 well, I, I, well I you mentioned it, but but yeah. then you. Here, it, just waiting on the petition. Yeah, we don't have a copy of the petition yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this this. Just a place marker. Yeah. Exactly. School facilities study. Yes, and um, I regret not having. Apparently, I did not attach that to the uh, email that I sent out on on uh, Thursday. Um, it's quite long. Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> I even saw the number on my cell phone. I almost choked. <laughs> 118 pages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then it wasn't there. But <laughs> well, this was the one I just sent. Out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, it's. Uh, I, I have one copy of it. Um, Lisa, do you know where that is? Is that on the select board box or? Uh, I don't know what happened to the copy that we have. Oh, okay. Um, we look in there. See if it got, if it ended up in there. Uh, it's probably on my desk. Um, I want to bring it up now. Um, uh, and I'll, I can either make copies for people or you can look it over electronically. You will look it over like yeah. it, it's, um, it's quite late. Uh, we had gotten a draft. Um, that had almost nothing in it. It was just structural, really. Uh, pretty much just an outline. Um, a couple of months ago. 
And the fellow from UMass who was going to do it said that he was going to do additional work over the summer and that he would come back with um, something much more substantial. And this is what he came back with. It includes a lot of background information, uh, but almost no analysis or recommendations of what we actually asked for, which was how can we cut costs through space efficiencies? And since then, we've also realized that another thing that we need to be looking at is any shared services that we might be able to, mm -hmm. to, to have. So this is trying to say, without regionalizing, how much money can we save using system efficiencies? Mm -hmm. And we're not getting that addressed. This particular study is late. The superintendent has already said that she intends not to pay Frontier's portion of the contract, uh, which is $12,000. That was a matching all four what he said he was going to. Um, no, and you know it's it's true that we don't have we we did not include a uh, a date for the deliverables in the contract, um, but it's also clear that he hasn't given us anything that we wanted to when we were asking for it, and the communication's been terrible. He has courses lined up for this fall, where he, which was our understanding is what he was going to do last year. There are graduate studios that, you know, as the Conway School of Landscape Design used to do, um, come up with studies on things. Um, and, uh, you know, he would like to go forward with those courses. Um, but again, the, the superintendent... But not addressing what we want. Doesn't, doesn't feel that what he gave us is good and that our needs have shifted since then. For one thing, she's already moved into Frontier. Mm -hmm. That was one of the questions that was mm -hmm. right. that yeah. it was being asked about. Well, well, that. This this study was initiated. It had to be January. Was it January of 2016, yeah. or was it before? It's been two that? years, right? It's been two years. Because the first year we voted it down. Yeah. I'm telling you before. And it had to come back as a, as the special, but and it was, which, and it was which means that it didn't start till after that. It was supposed to be done by the end of the summer, originally, wasn't it? The right. end of well, last summer? There, there were some understandings, but nothing was written down. Mm. So he could contest it if he wanted to. I, I don't know how that's going to work out. But um, uh, I, 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 would, uh, I would suggest that you, you look it over so that your, your, decision, your decision is made in an informed way. Uh, and 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 I'll and I will bring it back next time. Could we time. legally cancel that ourselves, or does it have to come back to town meeting vote? Tina was voted by the town. Meeting. Well, town meeting authorized the expense. It's up to the select board to uh, actually expend the money or not. The the three thousand that we yeah okay. But now you have Frontier that's saying they're not going to pay their half. Right. Now what what about the other towns. the other three towns? Uh, the other town administrators are taking it back to their select boards this week as well. Okay, why don't, why don't you get a poll of them and, and find out what, what they're doing on this? I'm, I would be surprised if any town voted to move forward with the current... If it's not addressing what the, the original, original request was. With, with half of it being not paid by Frontier, I don't see anybody else saying, we're going to pay ours. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Especially if he's not going to address what we're supposed to do. Yeah, there, there's a very small section on recommendations which doesn't cover the things that we would think would be covered. Um, as part of this, the, the superintendent uh, also provided uh, some of the recent um, studies on the schools that's done by a, a regional group. So it's an independent, uh, just number numbers crunching exercise and it shows Conway's population and uh, expected population the the correlation between the number of births in Conway and the number of kindergarten enrollments tracks very closely mm -hmm. so we have good confidence in the projected figures of enrollment for the next eight years let's say mm -hmm. and and they do go down considerably um, there are different models of regionalization. 
there are some things that don't involve closing schools. Mm -hmm. um, the superintendent would love the ability, if there was a surplus teacher in one school, to move them to another school, for example. Mm -hmm. That can't be done under the, under the current um, arrangement. Mm -hmm. So there are other ways, there are other structural ways <coughs> that could assist the region without closing a school. Right, yeah, okay. And right. It, it might be possible to start planning for fewer classrooms even if the schools weren't going to close. Right. Um, there were, you know, educational arguments for and against having more than one class in a room. Um, I, you know, I don't think we can get into that here, but it, there might be at some point space available at the Conway Grammar School that was not being used by a class. Sure. Uh, whether on a, a permanent basis or not. But the, the general population uh, prediction is is a slow but steady decline mm -hmm. um, starting last year. And, and going, it, Conway has been very stable for a number of years. And, mm -hmm. and the, the trend is clearly down from, from here on out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the trend. So we, we, we still need attention to the issue, um, but this may not be the vehicle for that. And again, shared services is another, uh, another um, dimension to look at as well as shared facilities. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Uh, Thanks. We'll, we'll all review, yeah. I'll, we'll I'll review that, that electronically and, and yeah. we'll figure out what we want to do. Uh, any items not anticipated within 48 hours? I don't have anything. Okay. Your update, Tom? No. For boards and committees, the planning board has been working with the Franklin Regional Council of Governments on a survey on economic development, which they are slated to publish in a couple of weeks, and we'll be asking everybody to go on the web if they can and fill out the survey there. We also have hard copies here if people want to pick those up. The main part of the survey asks about people's preferences for additional in-town business and it also includes a business-to-business -business section. Uh, we have sent out a notice to committee and board chairs and staff regarding the October 2nd all-committee meeting. <coughs> Copying last year's we gave the time as 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. In departmental news, the FEMA Hazard Mitigation Grant is open again, and we have restarted our work with GZA to try to get funding for stabilizing the slope from Delabar Avenue to the South River. G GZA is who? Uh, they're an engineering firm. The one, um, that, the one that did the engineering up there? Yeah, they, they, we worked with them before on it. They helped us submit the grant proposal. Um, Work well with MEMA. MEMA couldn't believe we didn't get funded. Um, part of the grant is for engineering. Mm -hmm. And when we sent it in, uh, one of FEMA's um, uh, critiques was that we were, all the engineering wasn't done. I said, well, yes, we want the grant to pay for engineering the way it's supposed to. And that didn't. Um, it was a sticking point. So now we have more engineering done because we have the money from town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, it's just we won't be able to Does recoup it say that. they will not pay for engineering? Uh, no. No, it says that engineering is a valid... Um, That's all right. Oh, yes. Yes, MEMA couldn't believe we didn't, that that was the reason that we didn't get the, uh, the grant. Yeah. Um, uh, also, oh, and then here, here I talk about the, uh, the tree cutting um, from Eversource. Um, brush cutting will begin next week, and tree cutting will begin in December. So they're going to do the regular brush cutting during the fall, mm -hmm. and then starting in December, they're going to come and just take out a whole bunch of trees. Um, Comcast's work is proceeding. There have been a couple of citizen concerns, one regarding the siting of a power supply, which I understand has been resolved, and one regarding the seemingly low height of some of the lines about which I have a call into Comcast, Eileen Leahy. Um, 
Was that the, the lines that went across a, the backyard of a home on Roanbrook Road? Yeah, f uh, front yard, I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the response they got from the line workers was, well, you'd have to get Verizon to put in taller poles then. Mm -hmm. And the concern was that emergency vehicles wouldn't be able to uh, get into the driveway. Um, they seem to be only eight or ten feet high. But if it's what I I'm, think, I'm not sure. Comcast has agreed to fix it. Okay. I, 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 okay, that's good. Um, one more just to comment on that. Um, it's really great that people are, you know, I mean, everybody's excited when the lines start going in around their house. And I just got a, a photograph from, from Adam Karen of the lines coming up uh, by his house, um, John Holy's house, mm -hmm. and up past uh, uh, Topman's house. And so, so those lines have all been there. They're in process too. So, uh, Adam Karen is the photographer around yeah, town, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. okay. So that's a new section where I didn't know that road had been approved yet. So if you drive out Whaley Road, you will see all of the new mm -hmm. lines all the way out the Whaley Road, yeah, and they're turning on Roaring Brook Road and, too, and then turning on, and they're on Roaring Brook Road coming down mm -hmm. from the other end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. So it's slowly happening. But. That's good. That's good. And thanks to your thanks to your uh, good work. Uh, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to Comcast. Yeah. Um, Lisa and I are preparing public service announcements to be sent out with the November tax bills, one on winter roads and one on vacancies for boards, committees, and commissions. We'll bring that to your next meeting for approval. This is a mm -hmm. process we haven't done yet. Is including little notices in with the tax bill that have to do with town business. Good idea. So yes. uh, we're starting that. Um, and Lisa Tarowski has completed a guide for town appointees. And which that's has been a very good job website. on that, Lisa. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope to have a new version of the town of Con ah, more on the town of Conway website. Uh, I hope to have a new version of the town of Conway website for you to look at within the next month. Staff previewed it and uh, Bob was in the right place at the right time yeah. uh, and made a number of suggestions. So we're, we're uh, fixing that up. Um, it will be better organized and more importantly completely compatible with mobile devices, including being editable from mobile devices in cases of emergency. Oh, you think great. Did the day, time and date that he had to meet it was the reason why you had a low turnout? Because most town committee people worked in a daytime. Yeah, yeah, this, this was not for committee people, this was for staff first. We're going to broaden it out. Uh, we'll bring it to committee <coughs> people when we uh, um, bring it to you folks and, and things That's like that. A... And, you know, there's the all committee meeting too. We, we hope to have something you know, really ready for that mm, as well. Sure. Great. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, we can give out the website and people can look at it and, and, and give their feedback. We're, uh, that was the uh, the alpha version <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> that, okay. that we were showing to people. How are you going to keep so, making a five-minute report? I'll give it. <laughs> 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 uh, no, we, 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 did, we did pretty well. Um, we had about a... Uh, about a half hour presentation uh, over at the town hall. It was, it was that the internet was, wasn't working very well. It was pretty, in, yeah, and the internet wasn't working. Yeah, so I mean, it was the because last week was the day it wasn't working at all. I don't think it, it was the One site. Day it was last week or well, Thursday. I couldn't get online at all that day. I think that was the day we were trying to have this meeting. Yeah, <laughs> the um, the web was having the, some the old, problems. The old internet wasn't mm -hmm. working. Yeah, the old was, website wasn't working. Well, it wasn't our issue. It was yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Was on the other end. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's um, that's how that's moving forward, and uh, it it still won't be ready for actually switching over until we've migrated all of the data from right. one website into right. the other website. Yeah. But we want to make sure that it's it's organized the way that uh, makes the most sense for people. We've we've streamlined it. We've cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be able to give. All of the committees and departments control over their own page. That's great. And That's great. Um, you know, it's going to involve some a little bit of work regarding changing passwords and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of entering the new 
the new era now in, in more ways than one. But it's um, it's for editing. It's like the one we have now, but more complex, but much more flexible. Good. And we'll be able to do many more things and make more changes um, much more easily. And everybody can make their own page the way they want. We'll have trainings for everybody mm -hmm. who has a has a page, committees and, and staff and things like that. So, yeah, and um, yeah, the, for the for the timing of things, whenever we have anything that involves staff, we have it on Thursday afternoons because mm -hmm. that's when most of the staff are um, are on duty. So, yeah. okay, great, thanks, Tom. Sure. Concerns of the selectmen? Do we have any concerns, selectmen? No. Okay. Good. Mail. Okay. The only piece of mail that I see in here that uh, just requires a comment. Tomorrow, September seventh, Conway Hills Wildlife Sanctuary walk from four thirty to six. Everybody's aware of that. Okay. Right. So my hope is that that will be over in time that we can then all race up the Furcog for the Furcog meeting at six o'clock on marijuana legislation. So. Or regulation at this point. Or, or yeah. So just right, uh, right, yeah. And then well, my they hope may, is, want, may want to grow marijuana in the field. <laughs> <laughs> and and then, then then my hope is that the Furcock meeting gets Maybe out. Maybe it's time. already growing here. We don't know. Uh, the Furcock meeting has to get out in time to make the Patriots game on day thirty. Oh God! So. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah. Okay. So it's a busy night tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that under announcement, so you just made an announcement. That's good. All okay. right, next meeting is scheduled for Monday, September the 18th, uh, here in the town office. No other business to come before the board. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay.